Hey, you and everybody out there, how's it going tonight? I'm Adeptus Azul, and we are having a little before bedtime hangout. Now, uh, I uh, wanted to just kind of talk a little bit about this book that I'm reading here. Um, Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Light and Anode to Chaos. There's illustrations in it, written by one of my favorite, favorite comic book people, Ethan Van Skyver. So much so, I got a tattoo because I really love the War of Light series. Now, uh, I guess there's some controversy around this guy. Um, whatever. Don't care about it. Because this book is absolutely fascinating. Um, the first chapter, actually. Let me just really briefly see if I can find that no nope, that's the overture he's got a part in it where he's essentially well what is this guy Norman Norman D.O.G. D.I.G.? I don't know where he kind of talks about how he met Jordan Peterson and essentially his book came into being because he was on Quora Quora was great um, you can upvote questions. I use it occasionally. It's it's cool. But you have these like really wonderful illustrations inside of it that I just freaking love. I mean, look at the detail on this. There's kids. There's stuff like that. This is just done so well. And I love pencil drawings. It's just one of my big things. I was taking figure drawing classes myself because I just love the look of black and white pencil drawings. There's something magical and special about it using two tones to create art that, oh, just, yeah. You're just creating art. You're creating something that is just so unique. Ah, God, I just, anyway, I'm gonna stop fanning over it, you know, I love animation stuff, but he has these 12 rules, and inside these 12 rules, there's the infamous lobster thing where he talks about lobsters and hierarchies. Well, he talks about being able to show yourself as a more powerful person than you are. And, and most of the way through this chapter, and he talks about some really basic stuff that I never really thought about before. How we, we live in a society that has order. And why does it have order? Well, it turns out that we may be keyed up genetically to tell when someone's higher or lower than us and there's oh excuse me i um i'm doing a uh paleo style diet not paleo um i'm just trying to cut down my carbohydrates i'm a i'm a hispanic dude you know it's not good for you to eat a lot of grains i'm not saying eat none that's not what i'm saying i'm essentially saying that it's important to really take charge of your health and try to cut down the amount of sugar you eat but <laughs> it wreaks havoc on your digestive system after you're switching oh my god but yeah it works out for me i've lost a lot of weight like this anyway we're talking about hierarchies yeah so we're keyed up to tell when someone's above us and when, when someone's below us and there's signals and ways that you act stronger Standing up straight with his shoulders back, I'm guessing, because I haven't quite gotten to the end of the chapter, is um, something really profoundly powerful. It, it's a signal of your status in life, but it also has psychological effects, actual physically measurable things, such as how much serotonin your body produces. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, I've been depressed, I've been really down. And between talking to a therapist, you know, my school has, well, we pay a fee, a health services fee, and apparently pays this health services office, and they have things such as therapists and nurse practitioners there that can help you with things. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to have to pay this every freaking semester, I'm going to use it. So I've been using it, and using it has been helpful even though I was kind of suspicious about psychotherapy, it, it turned out to be pretty good. But anyway, um, he's, he talks a lot about structure and how it 
is important for maintaining mental balance. Mental balance being your ability to cope with things because the higher you are up, the easier things get for you. When you're down low, it it just your relationship with everything just changes. Everything from money to just typically your 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 social your the way you socialize, the people you can date, it, it really has an effect on you. Like essentially poverty is bad, but being low status which oftentimes goes hand in hand with poverty, is just as detrimental towards you. And where this is really helping me understand the difference in relationships between people, it, it's, it's kind of making me realize how things were in the past, why maybe I had been such a target. Um, in fact, actually, this rising up part, he says, sometimes people are bullied because they can't fight back. Now, it's it's just it. This book has really been helping me analyze things that I'm seeing in the real world, and it's giving me kind of a framework and a structure, rules that may help me make sense out of things that sometimes don't seem to make sense. And I can't really speak too much to the more complex issues behind all this stuff, but when it's done in a way that's so concise and clear, it's uh, it's kind of refreshing to really see, because no one's really structured things in this way. So anyway, I'm reading this book. It's good. Um, didn't mean to give you guys such a review. 12 Rules for Life, it's great. The other thing that I've been doing um, really, and I'll just leave this here so you guys have something to look at, is watching Jack Ryan uh, with Jack Krasinski on Amazon Prime. So this is what I can tell you about it. It is good. It's rather well made. Now, you would think something by Tom Clancy would be wholly just, oh, oh America's great all this good stuff there's no nuance but what's getting me what gets me so much about the series is you have Jack Ryan he's a CIA analyst who is in a horrible accident and is now trying to fight a rising threat in a man called Suleiman now Jack Ryan's played by Jack Krasinski so I'm a huge fan of Jack Krasinski because I freaking love community I also happen to like, uh, uh, what's that movie? The Quiet Place. I thought it was good. Don't know why there's so many reviews saying it was bad. I, I really don't get it. But Jack Krasinski does such an awesome job in Jack Ryan. And I'm halfway through the season. There's so much nuance to it. The character Suleiman, completely relatable. They really pull a Tony Soprano with him and his family, um, where he seemed like this well-beloved man, and then he does some horrible terroristic stuff where he kills hundreds of people in just one event. He's coordinated, he's hyper smart, um, he's a super villain because he doesn't see himself as the bad guy, and in, in fact, actually, he's one of the most sympathetic villains I have ever seen. He's got a great story, and everything he's doing makes reasonable sense it's really hard to not take a look at this character and say hey I can understand what he went through he was totally ostracized from France where he grew up um, because of because of his name because of his race you know in America as one of the characters says you can be America American slash Cuban American slash French American slash African but in France, you're either French or you're not, and he was not. And despite being highly intelligent, highly capable, he was never given a shot. In fact, quite the opposite. He was purposefully given a sh uh, basically a shitty stick in life. And between him kind of being a bad guy kind of doing good things despite the fact he's bad and uh, Jack Ryan being more of a boy scout who has to deal with sometimes awful people 
despite the fact he has a very moralistic sense of view, he also mentions something. Um, when one of the, uh, the French cops asks him, how can you work for your government knowing everything they do? He says, I'd rather be on the inside where I can possibly make change than being on the outside and doing nothing. And I was just kind of blown away by that statement because really it's a much more nuanced way to go about talking about the subject of patriotism and working for the government. Because, you know, nowadays people are pretty divided. I live in an area where there's a lot of, let's just say, anti-government talk. That's fine. That's, that's what makes us us, you know? We are totally allowed to diss anything and that's what's great about being American but what's blowing my mind is it's the first time I've seen people taking a equally sympathetic yet strong stance against well terrorism some of the stuff that comes out of the Middle East and I'm just fascinated because I did not realize how things were over there in fact actually one of the the, the boss to Jack Ryan is a um, he converted to uh, Islam because his wife was and, you know spoiler alerts in case any of you haven't seen it but I just think Jack Ryan is an absolutely wonderful wonderful series so if you have a chance check out Jack Ryan because in a couple of minutes here I'm going to watch it till I pass out because I'm exhausted and I have an exam on Tuesday. Intermediate algebra. <laughs> I'm completely unprepared for it. But yeah, those are the kind of two things I want to talk about. Um, there's lots of good stuff on Prime, Netflix that you should watch. Um, Crunchyroll is another great thing. Ooh, oh, before you go, Crunchyroll. So Crunchyroll is free at a basic level. However, you really want to make sure that you um, um, catch a couple of series that are on there um, if you are a comic book fan and you really like like seeing something that really captures the spirit of what's being a hero my hero academia Boku no hero academia I believe it's called is absolutely astounding I just love it all might is like totally a, a rip off uh, the rip off yeah it's a rip off rip off of Superman without the flight power. It's like traditional Superman, you know, the first one action comics number one, where he like jumped really high and ran really fast. I mean, he has attacks that are named after United uh, the states and cities like uh, what United States Smash or something. I, I have to review it. But anyway, it's it's fantastic. You have other things too on there like uh, Golden Kame, which deals with the Anu people of Japan, which essentially are their native uh, native people. You know, they hunt, they live in the wilderness, they have blue eyes and black hair, and they are the traditional people of the ja Japanese area. And yeah, they get the shit in the stick as well. Wait, I keep saying that. Like, I, I gotta, like, diversify my, my little statements that I make about situations that people experience. I feel like I gotta expand my vocabulary in those areas. Well, yeah, I, I do. Golden Kame is another good one. Um, oh, and I just recently got into one, Overlord. Overlord's weird. Uh, kid in the future gets trapped essentially, not kid, but someone gets trapped in the future when a game's supposed to shut down suddenly becomes alive and he's transported to the world inside the game and he decides to take it over. I've only seen like two or three episodes, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna admit I'm kinda lame. I just watch whatever's advertised on Crunchyroll. <sighs> Guess I'll get a life. But anyway, I'm going to pass out now. Y'all read this book, watch Jack Ryan, get on Crunchyroll, have some fun. Relax. Enjoy. That's all for now. I will see you in my next video. This has been a nighttime hangout with Adeptus Azul. Good night.